Yes. Uh, so they, colleges are telling <laughs> kids that um, they have to get the vax, and your daughter doesn't want to. Her friend came over, and her friend that also goes there said, oh, my God, I got so scared, and I didn't want to get the, I didn't want to get it, and my parents begged me not to get it, but I got it. And she took out pictures, and she said, for almost six to eight weeks, I was afraid to tell anyone there was something wrong with me uh, because I was now embarrassed and my parents told me not to do it. This kid had, her eyes were blood red with pus. And this kid is 19 years old. She, had, she was showing her legs completely inflamed with black and blue all up and down. And so, thank God, my daughter, who was kind of fighting us with that, saw that, and it came from nowhere. And those are the people that are petrified to say anything. She said, "I'm like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to tell anyone." And so, and so, that one person, don't say you need to take this. You go talk to that person's parents. You go talk to that person. You say to their face with your blind emotions and your blind finger pointing and your soullessness and your thoughtlessness and your carelessness and pure dark agenda. Because let's not kid ourselves. There's something deeper involved here, I'm sure. You think? You mean it's not really about COVID? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Send the thunder. <laughs> Sire, the project is working just perfectly. <laughs> I don't know, it's starting to have rebellion. Send out more fear. <laughs> Shut down the universities as quick as possible, and they shall never be educated unless they get a shot. I love it, sire. <laughs> <laughs> Send out, did you send out the word that needs to be said? Trust the science, trust the science, trust the science, trust the science, trust the science. It's, I, it's, it's almost, <laughs> you just trust, the trust the experts, trust the experts, trust the experts, Get read all about it, trust the experts, trust the experts. It's so comical, but yet the fact that nobody, I should say nobody, people pretend it doesn't exist. Or they don't see it. It's mind-boggling for me. Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. You just summed it up better, I think. Our, our producer, Alexi, who's sitting here just videotaped you because that was, so, that was just so good on her iPhone. Um, <laughs> last, last question. What is this? So you've, like, laid... I mean, what you just said, which I completely defensible and true and hilarious, is so far over the line... That like, what is this? What does this mean for you? I'll tell you what it means. Um, as long as I'm truthful in my vision, yes, it's worth every second. Yes, that's called art, by the way. When you're totally focused on what you believe is true, that's art. Well, then that because I will tell you this. I haven't. Li I don't. I don't watch television. Good. I don't read papers. Uh, over the last week or whatever that I've been doing it, people say, "Oh, they're killing you here." I don't get that. That means somebody's worried. When yeah. someone's got to go, this stuff, he hasn't worked since, and you know what? That's the discredit. That's I know that tool. As long as I walk the line, the thing that's most empowering is when I look at the messages. And they don't stop. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. You don't know how I feel. And I'm not only just getting messages. I'm getting powerful messages yes. where people go, can I just tell you, yes. I've been a nurse for years and I've seen this firsthand and they're basically warning us and they're telling us I'm going to get fired. And if I say anything, I'm, this, this is full blown fear. It, it's and, and to hear people, I had I had one person reach out and go. 
I, I lost my job, but I found a better cause. I'm taking care of my grandmother who can't take care of herself. And they wouldn't let me see her in the nursing home. So now I took her out of the nursing home and I take care of her every day and it's the greatest thing. So I'm finding the positive. But the fact that it, I'm getting beautiful stories and yes. thank you for saying what you said and thank you for, uh, for just being honest yes. and passionate. And when you reach the time in life when you're honest and you're passionate and your intentions are good and you got to worry about that, there's a, there's a problem. There's a serious problem going on. And I'm not the one that's going to make change. Uh, I just walk along my path and try to make you feel. To me, I realized as a kid, we're all stuck in this game forever until we're out of here. So while we're here, let's try to enjoy ourselves and just share a laugh because this ain't the easiest place to live. Can we all just do that? But they always just got to make it a little extra complicated. So hopefully I can uh, heal the ones that really need that hearty laugh. There you go. This moment has brought out the worst in so many people, but it's also at the same time brought out the very best in others, and you're one of them. And I appreciate your coming on. Thank you, and thank you for asking me to come on. Oh, it I, was it was very much our honor. Thank you, Jim. Thank Brewer. you, brother. Be safe.